Hello everyone! Welcome back to Milan Madness 2.0. This is going to be a quick video, but this is about being a furry. So, a lot of people have been wondering, you know, what does it mean to be a furry? And me being one for five years, I think it's all great for me to tell you. Unlike the common meaning of the word furry, uh, which is a person in fursuit, which actually, fun fact, not all furries wear fursuits. It's true, I looked it up. A lot of furries do not wear fursuits. Some do. Me, soon to be included. Although, technically, I like it more, I call it more of a mascot thing. I like I like mascots. I used to be a mascot for Chuck E. Cheese. Best time of my life. I was, I was happy guarding, but I was more happy just dancing and acting like a happy mouse, I guess you could say. In the fursuit that they had. That was like the, my favorite part of the job. So, you know what I used to do before I became a YouTuber and working at a Walmart? I don't know if you can see my name tag there, but there we go. I work at Walmart at East Independence, though, if you want to drop by and say hi or whatever. I don't know. Do what you want. So, yeah. Furthermore, I don't have a full suit now, but I have I have a few I'm looking at. Um, depending on how long it takes me to get the money for it, I don't know if I'll go for the option I really, really, really want, or the option that's acceptable until I get that will hold me until I get the money. Which I think I might go ahead and get the small one eventually, like first because like you get the small one and then you get the real one later. It could be like William the Wolf 2.0. It's like Majira Strawberry, shout out to that guy by the way. Hey Majira, first one, well, the regular first, I think he's the dimension of, uh, I can't talk anymore. Majira, which he calls him the other boy, he says we don't talk about the other boy, so I don't question him about the other boy as he calls it, which is his first fursuit. Then they have Majira 2.0, which is an awesome fursuit. But he doesn't really, uh, he's not like, he doesn't hate that suit, but he has good ideas for a suit. And then he has Majora 3.0, which I like a lot more. I mean, I grew up, I think, in Majora 1.0 watching him. Um, I can understand why he didn't like that first suit that much. Um, the second one, I think, came Rainbow Tail. I think it Rainbow Tail on the first and second one. And I was okay with that, you know, the Rainbow Tail is really cool, you know? I don't support the LGBTQ community, but when I see, rain when I see Rainbow, first thing that comes to my mind is Noah's Ark and the Flood. God's promise never to destroy the world with water again. That's what I'm sticking with. I like that promise. It doesn't mean gay. Look to like the second book. Not second book. Look in Genesis. Near the beginning. Seriously. Continuing on this little thing I'm on before this gets a little too cringy. Between me and the LGBTQ community. Again, don't support them. I love the people, but I hate their hate their decisions, but I love them as people. Put that way. So no, I'm not saying I hate them, I just hate their decisions, but I love the people as living, breathing human beings. You can't blame me on that. I'm sorry if you can barely hear me, it's windy as heck over here. I'm walking to work, so yeah. A lot of hills, a lot of wind, and I'm almost there, so you're probably about to do some motor tools. Okay, wind, we get it, you're mad, shut up. It's not gonna shut up, no. No, it's not. Let's have a giveaway. Like, I don't want to get ran over and died. I want to be dieted. I know I would say. <laughs> yeah, she's a she's a YouTuber, Minecraft YouTuber. I want to be a Minecraft YouTuber one day. But yeah, so I'm gonna warn you all right now. Enjoy my face, this horrible, ugly face while it's here because once I get a I don't know a wolf Halloween mask or a fursuit head or a fursuit in general. Yeah, that's what we wear most of the time. Because, yeah, that's what I want to do is entertain people. 
That used to be my entire job was entertainment. Which, if you guys think about it, is kind of my job now. Out, oh, okay, not job now, but outside of Walmart, it's still technically a job. It's entertainment. Um, I do comedian stuff, and I'm. Um, and I just tell stupid jokes and act like a fool in public, and boom! You get entertainment. And crazy funny stories you can tell on the internet. So that people you don't even know can laugh at you. So, yeah, it's a. I don't know, win win. I don't know what you want to call it. So, the moral of technically this entire segment that I don't even know how we went to being a furry to this, but it goes like this, right? As a furry, there's multiple different kinds, just like there's multiple different kinds of, uh, sort of thing. There's multiple different kinds of people, political parties, and religions, and they accept each other just fine. But why, so why is it when there is an interest between one fandom and, and another, we don't get along. So a Democrat and a Republican, conservative and a liberal. All right, I'm conservative. I had a manager at another store that was a liberal. We got along just fine. We didn't care about each other's viewpoints. We were just like, hey, you do you and I'll do me and we'll be fine. But we were friends. In fact, I was his favorite employee. According to like half of like everyone there. So how come two fandoms can't do that? Why can't someone on a big gamer and someone else be a furry and someone else be a brony and someone else be like, I don't know, interested in, I don't know, Superman in the first generation? I don't know. There's absolutely no point where we all can't just get along. Like I said, there's multiple different fandoms out there, multiple different reasons for the fandom. There's multiple different people who support it as a whole. And we're shutting everyone down because they don't match up our viewpoints, but really, we're all the same. I talked about this before, I'll say it again, we're all the same. Deep down, if you just look, it's underneath the skin, or if you're a furry underneath the fursuit. I'm talking about that a lot, but I have a lot of friends that are furry, so yeah, I'm kind of doing this for them. And maybe a little for myself and other furs out there. Yeah. We're all the same. We just gotta learn to accept each other for who we are deep down inside. You know? It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter now. It's all our own. Our own viewpoint. Our own way of thinking. It's our life. Well, I'm done with this little tiny a reasonable rant I'm on, so thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please punch the button in the face like boss. That'd be really appreciated. High fives all around as I get a delicious donut that has been left in the break room. And I have no idea. I see okay, so this one is the one that I'm really into. So again, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you all next time. In the next video, thank you and good night.